create a link to the detail of any given product, you might do something like this. And of course it would actually work. It would take you to the relevant URL and path with those dynamic URLs just fine. But the problem with this is that if you ever changed any of these URLs, let's say for instance, you change them all to P, then you'd have to go back and make sure that all of these things are changed. And it's, it's just a lot com more cumbersome. So what we can do is create something called a instance method on our model or a function on our model that will shortcut this for us. And it's called get absolute URL. This is actually the convention to grab the URL inside of Django. So it's used in other places, but for right now, we'll just go ahead and use it in ours. So I can return the products and whatever it is that I'm using for the URLs using the F string or string substitution here allows me to actually grab whatever that URL is based off of the instance. So if I do change the URLs, I can just make sure or know that everywhere that get absolute URL works, this will update as well. So we just do instance dot get absolute URL. And that gives me that actual URL. Pretty cool. So that's just a better way to do it. Although there is one more.